Hello everyone, I'm Teacher Latoya from Woodrow's International School. Our discussion for today is going to be on mirrors, seeing behind you, and periscopes. Mirrors. We've already learned that in order for us to see things, we need light. And light comes from sources, either artificial sources or natural sources. We also discussed that light travels in straight lines called light rays or beams of light. And we also talked about how we see things. But let us go through that again. In order for us to see things, light from the source, which in our example here is a flashlight, reflects off the picture, which is the flower in the book, and then the light bounces off and bounces into our eyes. And that is how we are able to see images. Mirrors have a shiny surface which reflects light well. The term reflects also means to bounce off. So in the diagram that we have here, we have got a mirror, a flashlight, and an eye. The eye represents the observer, which is you. So how do you see light of a mirror? The flashlight will give off a light. The rays of the light will bounce off the surface of the mirror and bounce directly into our eyes. The observer up here cannot see the reflection of the mirror because the light rays have not entered that eye. Seeing behind you. Mirrors can help us to see things behind us. They actually have many applications in our everyday lives. In order to see behind you, you need two mirrors. You can always try this at home with somebody helping you. One mirror is placed in front of the object and the other is placed behind the object. So you can have a mirror in front of you and have somebody hold a mirror behind you so that you will be able to see the back of your head. Light from the source reflects off the object onto the back mirror. The object in this case would be the back of your head. The light reflected off the back mirror is then reflected onto the front mirror. So what is being viewed at the back mirror will then be seen on the mirror in front. Lastly, the light reflected off the front mirror enters your eyes and you're able to see the back of the object. So this is how you will be able to see the back of your head. Please try this at home. Periscope. A periscope is an instrument that uses mirrors allowing you to see over the top of something. In the diagram that I have provided, a girl is viewing a ball which is above ground, meanwhile she is below ground. The periscope is made up of two mirrors. The light from the object reflects off the first mirror, travels down a straight line, then reflects off the second mirror and directly into the girl's eye. Periscopes are used on submarines, tanks and also by soldiers underground to see what is above them without them having to go outside and get themselves injured in times of battle. Thank you for joining me. Please join me again next week as we discuss surfaces which reflect light best.